Most people in life are familiar with the fact that we, as American citizens, for the most part, unless we were born into wealth and born into privilege, have to work in the world. As much as there might be millionaires and billionaires across America with children, most of them still eventually chose to work, even though they had riches and parents to go to for whatever they needed. What I can tell you and what I can try and sell you on is that if you are miserable in your work, then it's time to get your life on. To get your life on, you have to be a strategist. You have to start looking at your skill sets and reviewing your talents and determining what is and isn't working for you in your job. Because even if you're in a job, productivity matters to your bosses. Performance matters to your colleagues. Interactions, socialization on the job matters to the office. And corporations do not like when low-level employees put them in pickles, put them in problems, and put them in underperformance issues because their employee is too busy doing other things on the job that don't matter to the corporation. In my life, I was very fortunate in that while I was able to work as an administrator in a college for a short time, maybe five plus years, I was able to do a lot of things to serve that organization. But I also knew that in free time, once everything was finished, we were allowed to sit there and read, or socialize with students, or assist teachers, or do things like that on computers. It was sort of the benefits of being efficient in our performance. But people have to really think about how their employers see them. It's something similar to when you're an entrepreneur. If you're not thinking about how the people you are trying to network with, and basically sell to, see you, you might not get the business that you need. It's something we talk about a great deal in my Spirit of Your Company business training for marketing your business program. Because what I do is listen to you carefully talk about your business. And then what I help you do is to take that language of you and place it and streamline it in the right spaces and timing and processes of entering a client into your purchasing system, meaning that the client is going to buy into you and then buy into your service or products or programs. And that needs to be a standardized process so that you always have success or you always know where you stand. 